I don't know what you believe, but after being here for more than 80 years, I can tell you that there is a force that want sentient beings to suffer. I'm not against suffering. I'm against unnecessary suffering. I think this is very important to understand. I'm not really against suffering. I'm against unnecessary suffering. Suffering can build character, but unnecessary suffering doesn't build character. It destroys it. When you look at humanity today, you can see that something is wrong. We're not strong. You can't really look at humanity and be proud. You can't. Something is completely wrong. You know, people are not strong. People are not able to work together willingly. People are delusional. They're not able to see things as they really are. People are focusing on the wrong things. People are very easy to manipulate. People don't love one another. They don't rec re recognize the, the enemy. You know, they're just fighting with one another without realizing who the true enemy is. They're doing things that they don't want to do in order to survive, you know, working jobs that they hate in order to survive. They're not teaching their children, right? You know what I mean? You cannot say this is how we're supposed to be as humanity. You can't look at humanity and be proud and be like, damn, <laughs> we're doing great. No. We have been through so much as a species that we don't know how to be strong anymore. We're scared. Because we have suffered a lot. Suffering can help people evolve, but unnecessary suffering can actually set people back. It's like if you treat someone like a slave, they can end up believing that they're supposed to be a slave and they're supposed to be treated the way that you are treating them. Like they're suffering, but they're not becoming stronger. That is why people who have been bullied a lot when they were kids, they, they, they don't have confidence. They would have had confidence if they weren't bullied at all, meaning that them suffering actually made them weaker. You see? So unnecessary suffering doesn't build character, it destroys it. You become less than what you're supposed to be. That is the problem. You can tell that we've been through a lot as a species that we're just not strong anymore. We're not strong as a collective. We're not strong as individuals. People are not strong. Everyone is scared. People can't stand up for themselves. People believe nonsense because what can they believe? The hell room is becoming more and more hellish. And it's becoming much harder to escape. Like it's not becoming easier to actually escape the hell room. It's actually becoming much harder. We're becoming too attached to this. See, the more we suffer, the more we become attached. It might seem like the more we suffer, the more we become detached, but that's not really what is happening. The more we suffer, the more we become attached because we want to have a good experience in this realm, right? So if we are having a bad experience, our desire to have a good experience 
deepens. You see the problem? Whatever is very hard for you to get, you're going to want it more. If you know you should have something, but it's so damn hard for you to have it, you're going to want it more. So you become attached in that way. And that is why people are too damn attached. They're not attached because they, have, they value um, they value this matrix. It's because the things that they deserve to have, the experiences that they deserve to have, they're not having these experiences, they're not having these things, so oh, they're becoming more attached. They're becoming more and more desperate. You see, the more desperate you are, the more attached you are. That is why things are not being made easy. Yeah. You can see that things are not easy. Uh, it's not easy to make money. It's not easy to get a job. Uh, it's not easy to find the right partner. It is not um, easy to, to find the right place to live in. Like, nothing is easy, but when you look at um, the number of people who are here, when you look at the resources that, are, that we have, you realize that it's supposed to be easy. That it's supposed to be easy for people to have the job that they want. It's supposed to be easy for people to have enough money to take care of themselves. It's supposed to be easy for each and every person to have a place to, to stay that they actually like. It's supposed to be easy for people to find the right partners with themselves. But everyone is struggling. Everyone is broken. You go online, you go on Facebook, everyone is talking about relationships. Hey, if a person says this, if a person says that, yeah, it means this. You know what? When you have matured, you must actually be okay with being alone. <laughs> like people are so damn broken, bro. Like people are so damn broken. You do understand that there's. Even if there is, there isn't like like even if there isn't more than like eight billion humans, like we're told. But everywhere you go, there's humans, but we're unable to connect. Why? What, what is really the problem? No, people are, un are unable to find love. What is really the problem? We can tell ourselves that our oh, men are no longer how they used to be. You know, men are no longer attractive. Or oh, women are becoming more and more toxic. They're trying to be like men and all. Like, that's not the problem. The problem is that something wants us to suffer as humanity. Because it knows that we become stronger when we are, you know, when we, we are connecting. So, if it, it, it conditions us to think in a certain way, like in a way that divides us, then we are going to suffer. Because we need each other as people. <laughs> I will make videos talking about why being alone is better, but not because... That's actually best, but because, like, when you look at our current situation, that is actually what is best. <laughs> so, there are ideas that are being put in our in our minds that are making us more and more divided, so that we will suffer. We have been conditioned since we're little to depend on this system so that it can control us the way that it wants to control us. Because we depend on it, right? We don't depend on ourselves. As a kid, you, you're supposed to go to school. You're supposed to perform very well at school. And school doesn't even make you smart. After wasting, like, um, 15 years, 16 years of your life, you don't know how to do anything. You, you fully depend on the system, and the system is like, oh, there's no jobs. Like, what? What are you talking about? There's no jobs. You mean to tell me that 
I had to learn nonsense for 16 years for you to tell me that there, there are no jobs. I mean, if I didn't waste 16 years of my life learning nonsense, probably would have learned something that would actually help me. Now I will actually be able to make uh, a living than to depend on this system. You can see that something wanted things to be the way that it is. Like, things are not the way that they are by accident. All right? We are much easier to control when things are the way that they are. People are suffering. Young people are suffering. They don't have jobs. They don't have money. They don't know what to do. Relationships are not working. You know, the things that are supposed to make the human experience uh, enjoyable. These things are not happening. You know, relationships are not good. Uh, they're not, people are not making money. They don't have homes. You know, young people are still living with their parents. They, they don't know what to do. That's, that's bad. And on top of everything, a lot is being kept away from us. Right? On top of everything, a lot is being kept away from us. On top of everything, we are being controlled in ways that we do not even see. On top of everything, um, we are not being given information that helps us evolve, right? We are actually given information that makes it easy for the people who control the world to control us. So, of course, of course, of course, uh, people will suffer and they will not evolve. Actually, they would they will suffer so much that they will start to dissolve, right? They will suffer so much that they will become less of what they were supposed to be. So how, how do you win as an individual? Because I don't think we can win as a collective. When you look at how people think, you can say that there's no hope, right? As a collective, we're not winning. It means that you have to save yourself as an individual you can't be relying on the world to change no one is coming to save us so you have to save yourself but how do you save yourself If you were in a dream and you were being chased by this monster, how do you defeat it? Like there's this monster that is chasing you, you're in a dream, there's this monster that is chasing you. How do you defeat it? Do you stand and fight it? Do you run away? Do you just stop doing anything? You just be like, you know what, I don't care. Fuck out of here. Like I'm not I'm not gonna allow myself to be played. Why am I being chased by a monster? That doesn't even make sense. I'm I'm being chased by this monster for what reason? What what do I benefit from being chased by this monster? Like what what do you do? I've been telling y'all that to truly win, to truly escape the hell realm, you, you must escape it while you're still here. You don't escape it after you die. Let me give you a simple example. If you're afraid of snakes, snakes that don't even bite, like you're afraid of all, of all kinds of snakes, so even the snakes that do not bite, you're afraid of them. You'll be afraid of snakes even in your dreams. Like you will not have a dream where you're not afraid of snakes. So what does that tell you? It tells you that even after you have left, left this realm, you will still be afraid of snakes, right?
let's go back to the scenario that I gave you. You are being chased by this monster. What do you do? You run? Do you stand and fight it? Do you stop? And tell yourself that you are done playing stupid games. There's nothing to win by running away from this monster. Let's see what, what it's going to do. You're not, you tell yourself that you're not afraid. I'm not afraid. What do you think will happen? You think that that monster will still be powerful? Or it will lose its power? The only way to win, the only way to free ourselves, especially if you are ready, right? Especially if you are really, really ready. Some people think that they must just escape this realm and that they would have won. You know, people talking about exiting. No, no, no. If you reach that stage where you, you want to exit, don't exit. Stop caring. And when I say stop caring, I really mean stop caring, right? Because why? Like, like you've already reached a stage where you want to exit and you decided not to. So convince yourself that you would have exited. So now there's nothing to worry about. Like, yeah, I would have exited, you know, last week. So now I shouldn't be attached to anything. I shouldn't really care. I shouldn't be scared. I should just live my life as if I'm free. What that's going to happen is that it's going to uh reprogram your subconscious right the things that used to make this very hellish are no longer gonna be able to have power over you you see the things that used to make this experience very hellish are no longer gonna be able to have that much power over you because you're not scared anymore you're like hey whatever happens happen bro like i'm gonna be me um, I was talking to someone via email. They were telling me that, hey man, um, I have this problem. I'm, I'm afraid of girls, right? I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're afraid of girls? Like, yeah, I'm afraid. Like, I'm, when I'm talking to girls, I feel scared. So I don't approach them, if, even though I want to. So I, I'm tired of this and, and I don't want to be part of this anymore. And I was telling them that, that that is something like your fear, like your irrational fears, this is something that you need to conquer while you're still here because you're going to take that with you, right? It's not like when you're dreaming, you're not going to be afraid of, like if you're afraid of girls now, you're going to be afraid of them even when you're dreaming. So even in your af in the afterlife, you will still be afraid of them. So you have to be able to conquer your fear now while you're still here. If you want to, right? If that is important, if you believe that that's going to set you free somehow. Because what, what are you really afraid of? Are you af you're afraid of, of being rejected? You're afraid of the truth. That's what you're afraid of. <laughs> you're afraid of girls making you see yourself for what? Like the way as you are. Like you're, you're afraid of girls making you see yourself as you are. So you, you'd rather convince yourself that um, what you believe about yourself is true. Or what you believe about how other, or how, how, what you believe about what girls, how girls look at you is true. You don't want them to show you what is actually true. You don't want them to show you how they really feel about you. That's why you're afraid of rejection. So you'd rather believe in the story that you tell yourself in your head. Instead of being free. You know, he, your desire for, uh, for truth must be so deep that no matter what the truth is, you'll be able to accept it.
Like, you're not afraid of it. You're not, you're not going to be like, all right, no, no, no. In this situation, I don't want the truth. Because you being afraid of girls is you, you know, saying that, actually. So you see a girl that you like. You're like, ah, uh, I'm not going to approach her because I'm afraid of the truth. I'm afraid of knowing how she feels about me. Because that's what you're afraid of. It's not like you're going to die. It's not like she's going to chase you and be like, oh, why, why did you approach me? What did you, like, that's not going to happen, Right? If she's not interested, nine out of ten times she just will not talk to you. She doesn't want to say anything horrible. Even if she does say something horrible, it doesn't really mean anything. It's not like you're going to die. So what are you really afraid of? You're afraid of the truth. So you have to be able to conquer your fears. That is how you win. <laughs> All right? You must be able to conquer your fears. And conquering your fears take work right it takes work it's not like you just be chilling and be like okay now i'm no longer afraid of snakes you you, <laughs> you need to not care about how snakes make you feel to stop being afraid of them and you just get to a point where a snake is here and you are here and you're just like i don't care i'm talking about snakes that don't bite i mean of course you you can be afraid of something for like you like you can be afraid of a snake because it can kill you and you're not ready to die that is that makes sense but if you are afraid of a snake but it, it's it's harmless then <laughs> there's some work that you need to do because that fear is keeping you in a very low state of consciousness you know you find yourself being uh, being afraid to do things that you will need to do in the future because you're afraid of something that doesn't even exist. You see? So really, to beat this force that is making us suffer is to really be brave. Be brave enough to not care. Brave enough to be like, hey man, whatever happens, happen. I'm no longer gonna like keep on running as if I know why I'm actually like running, as if there's something to gain from running. You know, my whole life can't just be me running. You know, that's that is actually stupid, that is actually backwards. I want to live my life, I want to enjoy my life, so I'm not gonna continue to run. You know, I'm gonna face the truth now. What is gonna happen? Why am I being chased by this monster? Let's see what this monster is capable of then. You know, whatever happens, happen. Because uh, running isn't better than uh, anything that I can experience if I stand and face this monster. Because it's not like me running is, is, is me enjoying this experience. I'm not enjoying the experience. I'm just running. There's nothing beautiful about running. There's nothing beautiful about being a coward, you see? So, really, you need to reach a state of consciousness where you, you just don't care, where you're no longer too attached. It needs to get to a point where you're, not even, you're no longer that attached to this world. You're like, dude, look, I do not deserve to be treated by life the way that I'm being treated by life. I don't deserve to um, be made to be scared all the time that is not good like i don't want to be scared anymore i do not want to be chased by uh, things that are that seem to want to harm me anymore i do not want to work shitty jobs anymore let's see what happens i'm quitting my shitty job let's see what happens you know, whatever, whatever happens, happens, because that's not life. It's not, like, me working a shitty job can't be life. Like, that, there's no beauty in that. I'm, I'd rather face the truth now. Because I'm not, I'm not going to continue to work a shitty job, a shitty job if, if I don't want to work a shitty job. I'm not lazy. I would actually love to have a decent job, and I would work hard, but a shitty job? No. I'm leaving this relationship. I believe that I deserve to be treated better than I'm being treated. So if it means that I'm going to be alone until it's all over, then be it. You know, there's no way that I'm going to, like, 
hold on to to something that uh that is hurting me just because i'm afraid of being alone like i don't care if it if it means that i'm going to be alone i'm going to be alone if it means that i'm going to be homeless i'm going to be homeless i know that there are women who be <laughs> with guys who um they don't who they don't love or who are not even like treating them well but they will hold on because they are afraid of being alone they're afraid of being homeless like you need to get to a point where you're like you know what i don't deserve this i don't deserve to be treated like shit i'm out you know um, i'm gonna go for what i really want and if i fail i fail you know i want to i want the truth now i want to know if i can have what i want than to hold on you know what i mean like you are reprogramming your subconscious your subconscious now knows that okay this motherfucker doesn't take nonsense this motherfucker doesn't want to be treated like crap. There's a reason why when you were a kid, you used to have dreams that were like scary, right? But as you got older, you stopped having these dreams. Like it's it's you you you've been reprogramming your subconscious since you were little. So your subconscious is no longer feeding you these dreams that are um, where you are being chased by monsters and all that. So realize that the things that you 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 are accepting now in this reality if you are being treated badly and you're accepting that you are also telling your subconscious that that is okay so even in your next life that is going to be okay <laughs> i don't think people understand how profound this is like if you you can realize that you 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 like you, that's that's you like moving forward now that's you being able to free yourself it needs to get to a point where your level of integrity is so high that you no longer accept nonsense. If something is nonsense, it's nonsense. You got to reach a level where you're able to say no. For real. Not to people, but to experiences. Like, no. No, this is, this is trash. Like, I'm, I'm not accepting this shit. And I'm, no long, I'm not, no I'm, I'm not going to let the situation control me. This is, this is trash. I do not accept that I have to work a nine to five to survive. I do not accept that. That doesn't feel right to me on every level. So I don't accept that. I'm saying no. You are reprogramming your subconscious. <laughs> Here's what you must realize about a subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind will always create experiences for you. It can never not create experiences. And it is successful when it creates experiences that are going to keep you as, as the ego busy. Right? So if you're like, no. You as the ego be like, no, no fucking way. This is trash. I'm not going to do anything. It has to create experiences that are going to keep you busy. So it has to look for something within itself that will interest you so that you will be busy. You see, that is why you dream. Like, uh, you, 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 you have to, be, to have an experience. You know, you have to have an experience. But if you don't reject some experiences, it means that your subconscious mind is going to be like, oh, this is what this person wants. This person wants to be, because some people do want to be victims. Uh, I've, um, you know, I've interacted with people who actually want to be victims. I've interacted with people who actually want to be angry. Like, they, 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 they find themselves in a situation where they c can be angry or not be angry. Like, they, they, they find themselves really having a choice, right? Like, they do, like, they, 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 they can walk away from a situation before they become angrier than they are because they still have power. But they continue to, you know, make themselves angry, 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 angry until they can't control their anger anymore. So you are, you are at bed with, with your subconscious, really. The information that you send to your subconscious is very important. If you tell your subconscious that 
it is okay that you are not being treated right. You accept that. Your subconscious, you know, your subconscious kind of works like um, YouTube algorithm, for example. What, what I'm being shown on you, like when I when I log when when I log uh, gone to YouTube, what I'm being shown is not what you are being shown. Like it depends on what I search, depends on the information that I send to YouTube. So YouTube knows that oh this this one is interested in MMA, so yeah, I'm gonna show him the in the latest. Uh, uh, the latest fights, the latest um, interviews related to MMA. Oh, uh, this this guy is interested in philosophy. I'm gonna, uh, you know, show him a video of uh, Jordan Peterson debating with whoever. Um, he's interested in um, Gnosticism, so I'm gonna, sh you know, show him videos. You know what I mean? Like related to Gnosticism. The more you accept nonsense, the more life is going to give you nonsense. Like, if you don't reject nonsense, life is going to give you more nonsense. It's, it's, it's like if you are in a relationship where you are not being treated right for real, right? Like, this person that you are in a relationship with, they're not treating you right. And you're accepting that. It means they're going to treat you worse. If you're in a relationship with someone and they hit you and you do nothing about it, you treat it as if it's nothing, they apologize and it's nothing. What message are you sending to them? You're telling them that that is okay. By telling them that now they can hit you, it's okay. So they won't have a problem hitting you again. But if they see that, oh shit, like this person really like if 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 if, 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 if for example your guy hits you and you leave, if he manages to get you back, <laughs> it's gonna take a lot for him to hit you again. He hits you and you. I don't mean like you 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 just leave for like a day or like you leave. You like that that's I don't I don't want this. Like this is not what I want. Like you leave and he sees that you have left, and he tries his best to get you back. And by some luck, he gets you back. It's gonna take a lot for him to hit you. But if he hits you, you cry, and then you good the next day. Okay, you've you've told him that hey, it's okay that you can hit me. I'll be fine. So he's going to keep on hitting you. Like, it will get to a point where he's not even afraid to hit you with something, right? Because <laughs> you've already told him that he can hit you, you see? So if you tell the universe that it is okay that you work a shitty job, then the universe is going to be like, okay, it is okay. This one, we can give him a shitty job. It's okay. Ah, this one doesn't accept shit. You know, this one is really saying no. This one is being stubborn. So what what can we do with this one? Okay, let's let's try to give him a business, man. Let's see if they're gonna be okay. Ah, oh, shit, they still don't want a business. Okay, gambling. Okay, let's try gambling. If they keep on winning, maybe you know what I mean. It does matter what you accept. So you beat the demiurge. You beat this AI because you're not even dealing with something conscious. All right, you are dealing with something that is not conscious. So. Yeah, if 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 you are you you are telling it that hey, I'm I'm not okay, I'm not okay with this, I'm not okay with with what I'm going through. This can't be life. This can't be it. Uh, and you stop complying. It's going to learn to treat you better. You know, this AI, this this thing, this force that is making us suffer. It's going to learn to treat you better based on what you accept and what you do not accept. Based on what you are willing to conquer and what you're not willing to conquer. If you're willing to conquer your fears and you're no longer afraid, then
even if this AI keeps on giving you experiences that uh, used to make you feel afraid, you won't be afraid. Like, and, and realize that you're not giving it energy anymore. Um, when I was young, I was very, like, I was afraid of lizards. And lizards will enter my room, like, a lot. What they will do is, like, they'll enter my room and they'll be, uh, they'll actually be, like, upside down. Like, just, you, you'll, you'll see it's heard. And it'll just be, like, staring at you, see if you're sleeping. That was scary. I was scared. I would be scared. And my mom used to tell me that <laughs> these lizards will will disappear if you ain't scared of them. Like it's like the way that they appear. It's almost as if they just want to scare you, right? Because when they started, like when when I started seeing lizards in my room, I dreamt about a lizard. I never dreamt about a lizard be- before that day. So I'm, I dream about a lizard. It's not in my room. It's in the dining room. And uh, I'm trying to kill it. Then I wake up and I see a lizard on the wall. Isn't that crazy? So I'm dreaming about a lizard. I never dreamt about a lizard before. And then I wake up. I see a lizard on the, uh, uh, on, the, um, on the wall. Like, do you see how strange that is? You dream about a snake. You don't dream about snakes. You wake up and you see a snake. I mean, we do dream about snakes. I'm, let me think of something that you don't dream about. We don't dream about. Um, you don't dream about spiders. You wake up. As soon as you wake up, there's a spider right next to you. So yeah, my mom used to tell me, don't be scared of them because they don't bite. It's not like they're going to bite you. Once you stop being scared of them, they will stop appearing. I didn't believe her. But I, you know, kept on um, fighting with, 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 my, with my fear. Like with, with, with my phobia, because it's, it's a phobia. And what happened is I... I, I stopped seeing these lizards like they just wouldn't be there anymore like nothing she like we didn't like, like I didn't I didn't block like the their entrance they just stopped coming to my room because I was no longer scared of them it's actually strange how things actually work in this world let me give you another example so, in 2018, the um, relationship that I was in ended. Like, I, I'd been in, 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 the, in, this, in this relationship, like, for, like, two years. Ended in 2018. It was a very deep relationship. Like, me and the girl, like, had a very, very deep connection. You know, something that not that many people get ex- to experience. Like, it was deep on, on so many levels. Um, we love each other on so many levels. So, I believed, I believed in that relationship. But yeah, we broke up. After we broke up, I kept on having nightmares. I would, like, dream about her, and she was telling me something. And I would wake up. Like, she would even whisper what she was telling me. Or wake up. She'd whisper what I was telling me, I would wake up. It was so scary, bro. I didn't want to talk to her anymore because i knew that i had to move on i was like it's over like we just you know i have to heal and and let it be it is what it is but i kept on having this dream where she was telling me something this is something that she told me in real life right she told me what she was telling me in my dreams in real life it's just that when she told me in real life or what we call real life i didn't take it seriously Right, you know, you're having a conversation with someone and they tell you something, you don't take it seriously. And then uh, that person, you are no longer close, you know, you, you and that person are no longer close. And you start having dreams of them telling you what you didn't take seriously. So I was like, shit, I got a call. I call her. 
and ask her, hey, uh, what did you mean when you said this? And she explained to me what she meant. But here's, here's what's crazy. After she explained to me what she meant, I totally forgot what she used to tell me. You understand? Like, I, I even asked her, I was like, what, what, did, what, 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 did I, what did I ask you, actually? And she was like, I don't, what do you mean? Like, I don't, I don't even remember. Like, me and her used to, like, talk a lot, so we would get lost in our own conversation. And since that day, I never remembered what what i asked her like i I'd never I'd, like i didn't remember i still don't remember what i asked her like i had to ask her so that she'd give me an answer and that's it that that was it like i uh, i was okay since then so sometimes you have to face your fears sometimes you have to stand and be like okay this is this is something that has been torturing me for a while let me face it let's see what's gonna happen you know, let's see if this is really going to unalive me. Let's let's see if I'm really going to suffer because of this. Let's see if I was running away from something that um, I should have been running away from in the first place. So you need to have courage, you know, but like what's really to be scared of? And sometimes we, 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 we treat reality as if we own it. As if things don't just happen on their own. You'd be like, I, I gotta live life like this. You know? And then you see something that scares you and then you, you protect yourself. You see something that scares you. And, and that's your whole life. Your, your whole life is just you protecting yourself from what scares you. Do you really think that you are becoming courageous? Do you really think that you are figuring out how to free yourself from this trap? There's no way you're freeing yourself. It's, it's, it's completely impossible for someone who lives life like that. You know, It's possible for those who are willing to be courageous in situations. To be like, hey, I'm scared. You know what I mean? Like, I'm scared, but... It is what it is. You know, I can't live in fear my whole life because it's not like i'm benefiting something it's not like there's something to really protect uh, i'm not i'm not i do not own this i not own this reality so i cannot live like a coward as if i'm protecting something there's nothing to protect you shouldn't be protecting your ego No, the guy that was telling you about <laughs> was telling me that he's afraid of girls. Like he's he's protecting his ego, he's protecting his feelings, and he doesn't realize that the more he protect his ego, the more he protect his feeling, the weaker he becomes. Because it's gonna get to a point where, uh, he's so fragile. Like his ego is so damn fragile that he's easily hurt. But if he doesn't protect his ego, like, hey, whatever happens, happen. Let's let's see what happens. It becomes stronger. So you must care less. You must not like protect yourself as if. There, there was something to protect in the first place. It's like if you were playing a video game and you weren't really playing. Like you're in a video game, you're holding the joystick, but you're not really playing because you're protecting yourself. But what are you really protecting? Like you're not playing the game, you're just like, you're just holding the joystick like this. Play the game. Be courageous. Like. Don't be afraid of things that you shouldn't be afraid of. But you need to start with conquering your fear for things that are harmless, that you are afraid of. You know, because there are things that are actually harmless that you're afraid of. So you must conquer uh, your, its phobias. So you must conquer your phobias first and then 
you start being more courageous like you start facing your fears even when even if your fears are, are are justified if you feel like you must face your fears if you feel like okay in this situation yes things can go totally wrong but it is what it is you know this is what i gotta do so i'm gonna do what i gotta do you that's how you evolve that's how you become stronger you know the problems that you're dealing with these are the problems that you're going to deal with <laughs> in, in in your next life even if you're no longer going to be the person that you are but because you have not been able to conquer these fears then it's the same fears that you would have to be dealing with that is why you win while you're still here. You beat the demiurge while you're still here. You beat the AI while you're still here. You beat the devil while you're still here. So that even in your next life, you'll be right. That's what a lot of people don't seem to get. They think that they got to protect themselves and wait until it's all over and uh, and and yeah they they will be fine like no it's actually your duty to free yourself remember consciousness is fundamental so everything that's happening is happening within consciousness so if you don't program your subconscious what do you think is going to happen like if you don't reprogram your subconscious what do you think is going to happen It's not like there are these realms that exist and they were created by something else and when you die you go to these realms and like no you, you go into a place where your subconscious will still be creating reality and it's never gonna forget what you um you you accept and what you do not accept so if you accept being treated like you're not good enough then it's gonna give you experiences where you are being treated like you're not good enough in a different realm if you accept being poor then it's gonna give you um experiences where you are poor where you don't have what you want in a different realm you have dreams where you're poor have a psychedelic experience where you're poor <laughs> So, be careful what you accept. Be careful what you don't accept. There are people who, when they are treated well, they don't accept that. Too. I remember I was having a conversation with this other guy. He was telling me that his girlfriend always want to buy him things, and he 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 refuses. He's like, ah, no, like you know, I'm supposed to be the one who buys you. Like if, <laughs> If you tell that to your subconscious, then you only gonna, you know, date women who will just take, take, take and not give. Because that's what you accept. You're like, that is okay. That's what's okay. I mean, that's what you, you don't accept being treated that way. Like, you don't accept women give buying things for you. That feels wrong to you. So you're like, I, I want to be the one who's buying things for them. You see? So be careful what you do not accept. Be careful what you accept. The truth is that you, you've always been more powerful than the demiurge. You know, this thing is, 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 is artificial intelligence. It's not like consciousness is deep, bruh. There's so much wisdom that's hidden within consciousness. Like if you truly, truly want to be free, you got to, you know, look deep within right look deep within and 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 see what's there you would realize that there's a lot of wisdom and you will know how to deal with this reality you know some people ask me hey how 
how do you know what you know you know no one knows the truth and, and i know that no one knows the truth but there are there's information that's hidden in our subconscious the more you do the right kind of work the more you you have access to this information you don't necessarily need to be told by something that seems to be outside of you what you need to be doing you can actually figure out you like yourself what you need to be doing i mean it's you who decide what you need to be doing you know like treat yourself as if you're sovereign treat <laughs> treat yourself as if you're god i mean why wouldn't you treat yourself like you're god who told you that you're not god who convinced you that you're not god i do understand that these religions be telling people that they're not they're not god it's like you're blaspheming when you call yourself god that's what that's what will actually make you realize there's some wrong with these religions but it is what it is if you have conquered religion you um you are very close to like freeing yourself if you keep continue to do the right kind of work because it's not easy to conquer religion if you've never had to deal with religion that's good but uh you might find that you are in another trap that you you might not even see it's obvious man that there is something that wants humanity to suffer what the way that it works is that like it it gets the more you focus on something because when you suffer you focus on what's making you suffer so the more you focus on something the more you give it power right the more you focus on something especially something that's making you suffer the more you give it power think think about it like when you have a problem like when you have an like a problem that you don't know how to solve don't you find yourself only thinking about that problem are you not thinking about anything else you're thinking about that problem imagine how much energy you're generating by just thinking about one thing you know how hard it is to fo- to focus Like I'm I'm not very good at focusing like I don't focus a lot like when when I'm in a, like when I'm listening to a person talk like I'll zone out like I don't focus but when I'm like having a problem I'll find myself focusing on that problem even though I'm I'm teaching myself to not focus on 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 the problems that I have and just let these problems solve themselves or solve these problems when I can solve these problems because sometimes you focus on problems that you cannot solve at the time you find that you will solve the problem tomorrow but you're focusing on the problem now and you you don't think about anything else you're not even in the present you're just thinking about a problem and and you're suffering a lot because you're thinking about a problem that you cannot solve at the present moment so this this uh this demiage knows that when it's it's making us face things that make us think a lot it gets a lot of energy than if it's giving us good experiences and we're not releasing a lot of energy like it's giving us good experiences giving us good relationships it's giving us good jobs uh we're being treated right by our parents you know your president is is doing things right uh on tv you are being shown the right things you be- you know what i mean you don't live in a toxic world you don't produce a lot of energy in, in when you are in, in when things are like that you don't find yourself stressing you don't find yourself focusing on on something or on a problem that you cannot solve at at, the, at, at you know in the present you don't find yourself zoning out you like you find yourself being in the present and that's when you truly become powerful like if you can learn to be in the present always in the present when you're doing something that's what you're doing you fully focus on it that's tr- 
when you become powerful. But if you can't be in the present, you focus on things that you can't change, you focus on problems that you can't solve, you focus on your fears, and you feel afraid focusing on things that make you feel, you know what I mean? Like, of course, um, you're going to suffer a lot and you're going to produce a lot of energy. So you need to be courageous enough to face your to face your fears than to always be running away. Some people spend the rest of their lives running away from their fears. There's no, there's never been a point where they decided to stand and be courageous. They're just running away. All the time, they're just running away. Let me ask you a question. If you're afraid of snakes, now, do you think that there will be a world where you're not afraid of snakes until you actually conquer your fear for snakes? So realize that all the monsters that you have not conquered if you go to another reality you will still have to deal with the same monsters so you have to conquer each and every monster that you're dealing with while you're still here so that means if you're afraid of rejection go out there put yourself in a situation where you can be rejected that's when you realize that rejection is nothing you're not gonna die because you were rejected you'd actually get used to that it would get to a point where it's no longer a problem. You're like, ah, all right, cool. If you're afraid of uh, being told that you're not good enough, fine, put yourself in situations where people will tell you that you're not good enough. You realize that it's nothing. Let me give you a simple example. This thing, I used to wear something to cover this thing, right? Now I even forget that I have this, like, you know, I'll be communicating with the person who has no, like, who doesn't know me. And I don't even think that I have this thing. And they ask me, yo, what's going on? But back then, I, I, I didn't want people to see this thing at all. But now I don't care at all. There, there's been times where I was afraid to make videos and, and upload them online. Go, oh, what if this person sees, sees my video? You know, what are people going to say? What if people judge me? What if, you know what I mean? Now I don't care. You can say whatever you want to say. You see, that means I've conquered uh, one thing to, one, like I've conquered the fear of being judged by people. People listening to what I say and they judge me. I've conquered that fear. I'm no longer afraid of saying something that you know, make other people feel uncomfortable, so uncomfortable that they feel like they must judge me or they feel like they, they, they you know, they, 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 they must hate me. I'm, 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 I've conquered that fear. I've conquered the fear of someone thinking that my body is perfect. Like, the, you know, it's not. So if they notice that, okay, he has this scar, cool. I would even tell them how I got this scar, you know, because there was a time when I, I, I used to, to lie because I was ashamed, but now I'm not ashamed anymore. I do tell people how I got this scar, and they judge me because people will judge you. They're like, it is what it is, you know. So you need to conquer these monsters that you find yourself dealing with. So that you don't find yourself dealing with the same monsters after this. That's how you escape the matrix. So you must realize that there isn't anything to really be protecting. You've just been lying to yourself. Believing that there is something to protect. Thank you.